But what always intrigued me about him is he was always saying, well, like, yeah, talking about the dangers of AI in particular. And so instead of like stopping that, it's like, well, that's just going to happen anyway, as if it's somehow how natural human evolution, which it isn't, it's totally funded, right? So if you stop the funding, it stops and he's funding it, he's developing it. He says, don't, well, we'll just have, we have to join them because we can't beat them, you know? So let's get your neural link. I'm testing it out on pigs because he actually says pigs are remarkably like humans, you know? So that's <laughs> right. One of the interesting Yeah, that shows you exactly better. where his mind's at. And he's just put the first neural link in someone. Um, oh, so we, we've stepped, did you know that it did, a few weeks back, his first neural link went in the human mind. Um, and obviously they're selling it through paralysis. Alex Jones was on his show saying, my uncle was paralyzed in a motorbike accident and, um, and he had mm -hmm. one and he was fine. Well, it turns out his uncle, his uncle was called Biff and he was CIA. So you make of that what you will. Um, but yeah, uh, it, again, it's, it's, he's pushing that and now they've crossed the threshold. They are in the body already, unfortunately. Yeah. And his, I mean, I've learned, I dug into like how they treated the animals at their labs, you know, with these monkeys too. I mean, horrendous conditions. Uh, one group like trying to stop that wrote a 700 page paper about the horrible condition these animals are living in, you know, so he also, so he's like saying we have that that's a danger, but we can't stop it. So we have to become like it. And then like, he's, he's actually part of the problem that he's saying is exists and is being exacerbated. He's even saying we need to terraform Mars because something might go wrong here, which he's bringing to pass. Like he's ushering in the something that's going to go wrong here so that we can go to Mars. And he said, if you want to go to Mars, you prepare to die. I mean, this guy is insane. You know, like this is direct quotes from him, right? But the fact that a billionaire is allowed to launch as many satellites as he wants into orbit for his own private company without any kind of international oversight at all or environmental assessment, like how is that possible?